I am getting married in a kilt, but I want to get more usage and longevity out of the outfit I buy without breaking the bank. What would you suggest I look for when choosing a jacket and a waistcoat I can wear to most events without being overly formal, but will still look good for a wedding? Um, frankly, an argyle jacket and vest would probably be your best bet. Um, that's going to be the most versatile for you. If you're looking for one jacket to do everything, kind of, you know, just be your you know, daily wear or, you know, all-round best jacket for versatility, uh, the Argyle Jacket and Vest, which is a black jacket and vest, um, comes with a five-button waistcoat. I'd suggest getting that as well. That way you can, you know, kind of wear it with the waistcoat to dress it up a little bit more. You can wear just the jacket itself to dress it a little bit down. Um, if it's a warm day, like it is in here, uh, you can... You can actually just wear the vest by itself and still look pretty sharp. Um, that being said, if you have a little bit of extra scratch, the Argyle jacket and vest is a good, you know, middle of the road formal. It's not really formal, but it's not really casual, not smart day wear. If you have a little bit of extra money and you want to do two jackets to kind of cover both ends of the spectrum, I'd suggest doing a Prince Charlie for the more formal events and then do a tweed jacket and vest for the less formal events. That way you have the upper and the lower end of the spectrum covered. Mm -hmm. uh, similar to the way you would wear a dress sporin for formal stuff and a day sporin for day wear sure. versus a semi-dress, which kind of splits the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. I mean, you can define how formal an outfit is based on the accessories. So uh, the Argyle has become so standard and become a go-to for people because really it kind of fades into the background and all of your accessories are really what's going to pop in people's minds when they look at you you know like what kind of tie you're wearing uh whether it's a ruch tie or just a regular necktie uh what kind of, whether you're wearing a fly plate and a brooch or not whether you're wearing a dress sporn or a day sporn so yeah i'd say the argyle is definitely if you have to keep it on budget it's a standard go-to um there is also if, you, if it just so happens you are a uh, bagpiper um, or if you want something that might behave a little more cooler in the summer, there is the uh, the Piper Flex option. You want to talk about that at all? Sure. Uh, the Piper Flex, basically, it's an argyle cut jacket, um, but the back two panels of the jacket actually are made from a wool lycra blend. And they're also cut on the bias. So when you stretch you know, your arms this way, or if you're a bagpiper as you lift your arm, um, it has a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more stretch to the jacket itself. Um, and that they're also, they have the advantage of also having the armhole cut a little bit higher and a chain closure in the front to allow a little bit more freedom of movement for bagpipers. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a little bit cooler. It's a little bit less warm than a full Argyle jacket, um, but it's mostly, uh, mostly for bagpipers. Yeah, I will say I personally like the Flex jacket because um, I've always been one of those people who's been told I need an athletic cut. Uh, jacket. I'm not athletic, but you know, you got the shoulder thing going on. So a little extra stretch is kind of nice if I'm going to be in it for all day. Um, that's another thing to consider though, is a lot of formal events. You're not going to be wearing the jacket the whole time. You might be in the jacket for the, say the wedding and then the photographs. You, yeah. And the photos, once you go to the reception, jacket can very easily go on the back of a chair. So if you feel a little stiff in it, it's just, you know, the price of looking good for that short period of time, it's pretty normal. 